Hey, first graders, it's Mrs. Compton, and we're going to play a little start with get to. Are you ready? All right, so I've got my bag here, and I'm going to shake it up. And remember, I'm going to draw out a number. That's going to be our starting number, and we can use our 120 chart to help us, or we can use a number line or whatever you'd like. So we're going to figure out what our number is going to be. Pull out one number. Okay, here it is. All right, I pulled out 120. That's going to be our starting number. Put that on our chart. And then we are going to get to, let's see what we're going to get to. We've got our get to bag. I wish I had my lucky duck to draw this out. Usually our lucky duck gets to pick the number. All right, let's see. Just one number. Here it is, and my get to number is 16. All right, so I want you to think about if we started at 120, and we got to the number 16, how far apart they would be. So our starting number is 120, and our get to number is 16. All right, you ready? Go ahead and strategize. How would you do this? If we start at 120 and we get to 16, how far apart are they? So let's see if you have an idea. All right, if you have an idea, you can write it down, or if your mom or dad is there, you can tell them how far apart is 120 if we have to go from 120 to 16. All right, let's see what you would say. So maybe you started at 120, and you counted, jumped up by um, hops of 10. So let's check out how many hops of 10 we would have to take. Let's see. Ready? One hop of 10. That would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So if you went from 120 to 20, you had to jump 100, otherwise known as 10 hops of 10. Now, we would be at 20 and we have to get to 16. So we're gonna count some more. So let's see, we have 100, 100, 1, 100, 2, 100, 3, 100, 4. So maybe you did 10 hops of 10. And then you did four hops of one. Okay, so how far apart would they be if we had 10 hops of 10 and four hops of one? That would be 104. Maybe some of you guys were like, hmm, if I go from 120 to 20, Right away, 120. So can you see that? I'm going to change colors. I don't know if you can see the pink as well. Let's try blue. Maybe some of you guys thought 120 minus 100 would get us to 20. And then you had to take off four more. So 20 minus 4 equals 16. And maybe you were like, I had to take a jump of 100 and a jump of 4. So I was 104 away. All right. Did I get your guess? Did I get your strategy? Tell me in the comments if I did. All right. So play around to start with get to. And this is something you can play with your families too. You can... You can make a little start with get to bag, like I have, and you can put in numbers, and you can play this whoop, at your houses. All right, so now we're gonna get ready to see our story problem. 
Are you guys ready to see it today? Remove this here. Erase our board. Let's check out our story problem. All right. Have you guys been hearing that some people are putting teddy bears in their windows? I think Mrs. Tynan has played this game in her neighborhood because she wrote a story about teddy bears. Everybody say hi to Mrs. Tynan at Penny Camp. Hi, Mrs. Tynan. All right, Mrs. Tynan. Mrs. Tynan had, hmm. Whoops, you can't see my story. Hold on. There we go. All right, Mrs. Tynan had, hmm, stuffed teddy bears. She put hmm bears into each plastic bin while she was organizing her, this is a hard word, let's look at it, garage. Okay, so she was organizing her garage, she put some teddy bears into bins. How many plastic bins did Mrs. Tynan use? All right, so in this story, we're gonna find out how many teddy bears she has, right? So we're gonna know that number, and we're gonna know how many go into each plastic bin, and we need to try to find out how many plastic bins Mrs. Tynan used. All right, let's check out our just right number sets. Are you ready? All right, your just right number set might be 21 and seven, or, it might be 56 and seven. Or, ooh, I want you to make sure to try one of these number sets first before you try one of these bonus ones. So here's a real big challenge. 119 and seven. Whoa, that's a tough one. Or, holy moly. 357. That's a toughie. All right, so let's see. Let's reread it. Let's put in our first number set. I'm going to choose 21 and 7. All right, let's check it out again. Let's read it now that we know our numbers in the story. Mrs. Tynan had 21 stuffed teddy bears. Okay, can you imagine? She's got 21 stuffed teddy bears. Okay. She put seven bears into each plastic bin while she was organizing her garage. Okay, so now we know she has 21 bears and she's gonna put seven bears into each bin, right? But we don't know how many bins she's gonna use, so we have to figure out that today. So that's your challenge today, kids. I hope that you can figure this out on your own and maybe teach your parents a new strategy today. That's my challenge for you. All right, so grab your pencil, grab your paper. It's time for you to solve. Turn in the work to your teacher as she has instructed. Ready, go.